Oh, do you want me to say my name's Alan Mulcahy, um, a senior here at Gil St. Bernard's? Okay. Hi, my name's Alan Mulcahy, I'm a senior here at Gil St. Bernard's. I'm Kelly Sheeswall, I'm a senior and I made it to AP Art. I'm Rachel Richardson, I'm a senior and I'm in AP Art. Uh, I'm Nate Bess, I'm a senior. I'm Mary Fran Howard, I'm a senior and I'm in Portfolio. Erica? Oh, no, I'm supposed to say my whole name. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm a senior um, in Gilles and Bernard's, and I'm in the AP art class right now. In middle school, actually, I started woodworking. Um, I took on some harder projects, and it's something that I want to pursue at Gil. Um, I got involved in woodworking in fifth grade because we had to, it was required class in fifth and sixth grade, and then I loved it so much I kept doing it every year after. I started taking art classes sophomore year at Gill just because I had like time to take an elective. I mean, I took a free freshman year and I wanted to like, do something else. I started a photo my freshman year and then uh, senior year I wanted to keep going, so I signed up for the advanced photography course. Well, uh, I've always loved art. Art has always kind of been around me. Uh, my main field is film. I've always been into film, so a lot of my artwork is about film. I got involved in art in the lower school and we would do different projects from different cultures and that really interested me and I've been taking classes ever since. It was more of a hobby at first. It was kind of something I would do when I got, when I got overwhelmed. Um, but then it started to become more of a, as I did it more and more, I became interested in doing it as a career. And then I loved it so much that when I transferred to Gill, I decided to continue on that track in studio art, and then in portfolio, and now finally to AP, where I figured out this is something I kind of want to do for the rest of my life. So basically what it is, is um, trying to create a flower mirror. I used two types of wood, pine and cherry, and I had to cut out each piece individually to make sure all the petals were even. And now I have to sand it down, we're going to stain it, I have to add a border around the mirror, and then I'll be finished. Uh, well. Mrs. Susie has helped me explore um, lots of different medias, and I found the mediums I really like to use, which are uh, chalk pastel and watercolor. Um, just being around other people who are passionate about this kind of thing. And um, I was originally self-taught, and then I gradually started taking classes, and Mrs. Susie has helped a lot with a lot of her input, and like She'll look over my shoulder and like be like, maybe this color should be this way, and it turns out incredible because of it. So, um, the program for art wasn't as strong at my old school, so when I transferred, I definitely found that here there were more tools and resources for me to use and learn from, like the teachers and like the cool facilities we have here, like printmaking. Uh, the print facility has been really special to me because I got to ask someone to prom with my own design. So I've definitely found a way to discover myself and what I can do with my creativity here as opposed to a bit of a um, stifling environment at my old school. You get to learn new techniques to do the same exact thing, but like better and stronger and it's, it's really helpful. So um, it was interesting after coming here I saw many um, classmates doing like pattern designs or collages. I thought that was a lot of fun and it was something that I never tried before. So um, that definitely helped me a lot with the creativity and like trying something new. And I started doing things I like, not only just sketching things I see. I eventually um, just started making more advanced stuff and uh, this is my latest project. Um, I made another table, a box, um, a bowl, and they've all used kind of different um, different styles and uh, just something that I picked it up as I've gone along. Um, I like to make like tables, I mean like right now I'm making a desk, but I've made two side tables that I really liked last year. Especially the teachers really let me explore different ways of editing photos and also different ways of printing. 
So right now I'm working on a triptych that's going to be three photos that are printed all on canvas, which is something that's never been done before on stretchers. The past two years I've taken photography with Mr. Ort and I really liked that class, but this year I kind of wanted to change it up. With photography, you have to get inspiration from different things, and I think that's the same with woodworking. Like, a lot of people you wouldn't see probably making a flower mirror. We make lots of boxes and tables and chairs, so I think this is like a different approach that I wanted to take, um, kind of more unique. Um, and I think I took that from photography when I had to learn how to find inspiration from different things, whether it be going outside and looking on a beautiful campus for flowers or animals or whatever it may be, and then trying to incorporate that into my work. Dill has helped me develop as an artist because it uh, delves into just about every medium that you can work with in art. Uh, you mm. have your painting and your drawing, you have your screen printing, you have your oil pastels, and then you know you can you can do photography, you can do filmmaking, you can do all these different things. Uh, originally, I was interested in doing sequential art, which is more of like what comic books and or drawing out what the cinematography would be for movies. And but I was recently accepted into a school so I can make video game art. So that's pretty exciting. Gills helped me develop as an artist because in other classes we learn about different art movements, and that sort of inspires what you do in classes. So I think the interdisciplinary work really helps you. I actually just finished applying to a ton of art schools um, because I want to combine academics, education, and art and become uh, an animator. Gil has helped me handle academics but also push myself in the arts and succeed.